Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Wax Wednesday. We're going another week with no bars to jars. I do apologize, but I promise it will be coming back. So just stay tuned. Maybe next week, maybe. This Wax Wednesday, we're gonna talk about what I've been getting through <laughs> over the last week. And what I will say is that I totally spaced and forgot to save my oils and tell you what I've been diffusing. Um, I am still diffusing. I just forget to, to set my oils aside. So um, I'll try to be better about that as well. But as you can see, there is no shortage of things to talk about. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with the bulky stuff. So got through quite a bit of the laundry products. Um, I When I'm showing you the uh, washer whiffs containers, I'm letting you know that I'm getting through the entire system of this particular scent. Um, I, if I were to save everything, I would need like a whole other bin. So um, I did get through an entire laundry love bundle of Jammy Time. Jammy Time is my go-to fragrance for our bedding and our towels. Love it, love it, love it. It is so good. Also, little tip for you, if you store your dryer discs in the Washer Whiffs container, it will actually prolong the scent of your dryer discs as well. But yeah, so got through a whole bundle of jammy time. I did set this aside because I didn't want to forget to tell you guys, if you've been hanging around with me forever, you have probably heard me talk about this. But if you are newer to Sensi or newer to my channel, hello and welcome. One little hack for you if you are going to try our um, laundry products and maybe some of our cleaning products. If you save this pump here and use it in our dish soap, game changer, <laughs> game changer. Either the laundry liquid or the scent soft, either one of those pumps will work. And so I just reuse these pumps and I use them in our, um, in our dish soap in our kitchen. It's fantastic. I prefer this delivery system over the little spout that it comes with. It gets kind of messy and I just, I like the pump better. So there's your tip for the day save those things, use it on your um, dish soap. It's fantastic. Also, I got through a system, a laundry love bundle of the pink cotton. And this one I actually got through. So I didn't, I don't use softener on our, um, on our bedding and our towels, but I do use softener most times on our clothing. So I did get through the whole laundry love bundle plus the scent soft and pink cotton. So like I said, since I use this and it, I use it as directed and I use it and it all winds up running out at the same time, which I absolutely love. Um, if I saved it all, then I, like I said, I would need a whole other bin, but I love this. It's such a fun, different type laundry type scent because you do, ha it is kind of a laundry scent, but it's sweet and there's kind of a berry note to it. So it's fun. I love it personally. Sean doesn't care for it. So I just, use it mainly on my clothes. We've got other scents for him, but love that. So got through that as well. Also got through one of my fall time counter cleans. I have counter cleans all throughout my house. I've got a couple upstairs. I've got a couple downstairs. You, if you have been hanging around with me, I just recently finished up another counter clean. It's not that I opened up a brand new one and went through it this fast, um, but literally you can use this stuff on everything. And I love the scent cider mill and I'm so happy I didn't ruin it for myself in wax. This is just, it's so nice. And I hope that this fall and winter season, since he makes counter clean a permanent thing in cider mill, cause it's a really good scent. So <coughs> it's just a really good like pumpkin apple kind of scent. I didn't care that it's now spring. <laughs> I was like, I'm still using it. So got through that. Okay, let's talk about, <coughs> excuse me, some pods. So, um, okay. I wasn't quite ready to take out or toss the coconut lemongrass that I had going in my wall fan diffuser. This still has plenty of scent in here, but one of the things I absolutely love about our pods or our fan diffuser systems, because they use pods instead of wax, <clears throat> this is what I'm referring to with pods. So these are just little plastic um, casings that have fragrance beads inside. If you wanna switch up the scent, you just save the clamshell, take the pods out, pop it back into this container, and then you can save it for another time. I got a very sweet gift from my friend Katharina over in Germany, and she sent me the salted lavender in the Scentsy Pods. 
I love this scent, you guys. I love it. She was like, I don't really care for it that much, so have at it. <laughs> I was like, yes, as soon as it came, it was a total surprise. She she surprised me and um, I popped it immediately into my wall fan diffuser and I love it. This is such a wonderful lavender scent. It's fantastic. I love it. And with that being said, I also got a bar of it as well. So I was super enjoying that. So thank you so much, Katharina, for surprising me and sending this to me. It's been super lovely. I love it. So, but it's nice because coconut lemongrass, I, there's still scent in these pods, but I'm not wasting it. I'm just, I pop it back into the, um, to the clamshell and then I'll save it for another day because salted lavender, she's still going strong. So love that. <laughs> okay. I also got through the bar of salted lavender as well. This one, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I just, this is such a beautiful scent and it's a really great, um, it's a really great lavender scent. One thing that I think is kind of funny and kind of cool with other regions with Scentsy, uh, they will actually seal their bars. I'm assuming that's to prevent melting during transit, but I always think it's, it's kind of neat to see how other regions are getting their stuff. Um, cause in the U S in Canada and I don't think in Mexico either, um, our bars are not sealed. They just come and they're ready to pop open and use, but these are um, sealed. So it's the little things that amuse me. Okay. Um, also, oh yes, let's talk about this. Did I see the top to this? I don't. Yes, I did. The scent of the month for May. I haven't actually gotten my kit yet. It actually processes tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 15th. Tomorrow. Um, so as soon as my kit comes for the May scent and warmer of the month, you know I will unbox and share it with you. But if you got the whiff box for this month, you should have received a little sample of May's scent of the month. So it's a pretty decent sized little sample cup here. If you can see, um, pretty decent sized sample cup. There's about two cubes in this, I would say. And the scent is called Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. When I first smelled this, I was like, okay, it's fine. I love this. This is so nice. So I had this going in this room, no other warmers on because all I have is just this, but I wanted to really see how, how this does, how this performs, um, how it smells. So I only had it going in one warmer and I had it going, um, pretty much all day. Was it yesterday? It smells so nice. It's so nice. It's a pretty good, I would say like, it's a strong medium. <laughs> it's not quite a, it's not a powerhouse, but it's a good solid medium throw. It's so nice, slightly cologne -y, but I really like it. It is um, kind of a fresh scent and it's really, really nice. I love this. So palm trees and ocean breeze. I I'm here for it. I do like this definitely better when it's warmed in my opinion and it's stronger than I was expecting. <clears throat> okay. Let's, oh, I want to talk about, I want to address this situation. Okay, so I got through the rest of my Life's a Garden wax bundle here. So I had gotten through the first three and I shared that with you last week. I only had these two left to warm and experience. Pineapple mint and apple parsley. You guys <laughs> love pineapple mint. I was expecting I would love pineapple mint. So it's so not what I was expecting just based on the description. I don't get a ton of mint from this. There is like, it, it does smell like a good fresh pineapple, but I don't get any mint from this. Same when it's warmed, no mint came out for me. And I'm, I'm happy about it because I'm not huge into mint scents, but it's, it's really, really nice. Love it. Added it to my club. I think it's, it's fantastic. What did blow my mind? Apple parsley, you guys. Shocker. Blue my ever love in mind. Seriously, this scent, when it came and I did the, the cold sniff through with you guys, I gave you what my ratings would be. This was last on my list. After I warmed it easily, hands down, no hesitation. Number one from the whole entire collection. This was my number one after it was warmed. So good. I thought it was going to be really light. This is strong. <laughs> I would say this is it might be a powerhouse. This is really good. Really, really good. And this is another one that uh, my husband actually wound up really liking. I put it in the warmers. He's like, I really like this. Um, easily goes into my club. It's going to stay there. There's nothing else that I have smelled quite like this. This to me kind of 
there is apple but you know what it actually it kind of smells like a bar of soap to me <laughs> so that's just kind of what I get it's nice it's fresh it's clean I do get kind of like an earthy kind of note to this but it's not like overly sweet it's more fresh and clean to me personally I love it I really really love it so it's so funny how things change that's why I really like sharing with you like when the collections launch I give you what I think my take is going to be then when the collection arrives I share my like first sniffs first impressions with you and then to see what actually happens once it's warmed because your wax does change a little bit when it's warmed those mid and base notes do come out and it could completely change the scent so or it could blow your expectations so big fan <laughs> big big fan unfortunately this collection is no longer available to purchase as an individual purchase you can however add it to your Scentsy Club or build a Scentsy Club and give some of these bars a try. There's no obligation to Scentsy Club. It's just our subscription service. So um, you can add these to your club. Scentsy will continue to make these bars for you for as long as they're in your club. <clears throat> and if you decide, you know what, I'm not that crazy about it, don't really want the subscription anymore, you can cancel at any time. But that's how you can give these a try at this point. <clears throat> okay, Moana, Spirit of Montanui, okay it's light it's light for me i know some people were saying that this one has some mixed reviews with in terms of performance but this one for me was kind of light i think it's a really nice fragrance definitely fun for the spring and summertime but mm, it's not gonna it's it's not gonna make it into my scentsy club it's just it's a little bit light for me <clears throat> it is nice i definitely enjoy it but it's just kind of light okay Pacific Sandalwood. Love, 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 love. This one was from the International Collection. Back with Salted Lavender. <laughs> um, this scent rocks my world. It rocks my world. This is such a beautiful scent. This does have kind of a, van a vanilla base, but there is kind of a sandalwood or woodsy note, and it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Honestly, if this was made into a perfume, I would douse myself in it. It's beautiful i love it it's in my scentsy club it'll stay there forever if you haven't tried this um it's not quite the same but vanilla waves is similar in my opinion it's similar you get the same kind of vibes i feel like so pacific sandalwood beautiful i would love it forever and ever another one i'm kind of obsessing about right now is make a splash totally fun melon fresh clean kind of scent for spring and summer really really nice uh, i do feel like it's kind of different it's different from your typical melon kind of scent because there is like an aquatic note that meets this like freshness it's wonderful so make a splash new this spring and summer season and yes i did get through all of this in a week <laughs> i have a lot of warmers in my house um some of these that are really light um or don't perform i wind up changing my wax out quicker than some other times so I just I get through a lot of wax Atlantic air this is what's currently going downstairs love this scent this is just a really nice it's fresh and clean and it kind of smells like a cool water perfume cologne kind of vibe but fresh and clean not too overly cologne -y. in my opinion it's just it's fresh and clean with a little bit of a perfumey finish which is really pretty so and sean actually commented on how much he loves this one too <clears throat> this is not going to be a shocker to anyone pink sugarberry mint weird <laughs> this was actually the scent of the month for march and this rocks my world i love it, it smells like cotton candy that's fantastic it's sugary it's sweet if you are sensitive to sweet scents this is not going to be one that i would recommend for you but if you love it that's definitely going to be a go-to poor unfortunate souls this one was actually from the villains collection that Sensi had released i decided to pop this into my warmers to celebrate um our little mermaid collection that launched this week so um the bar itself not this particular bar but a new um the little mermaid inspired fragrance has has launched it launched on monday um, and then the pre-sale for the sebastian scentsy buddy actually launched as well if you haven't reserved your buddy either go to my website go to your consultant's website reserve your buddy it's 
so exciting. Um, and then the bars are available, but while I wait for my bars, <laughs> I was like, let me break out my Ursula bar. So this one was kind of a disappointment for me, but I do still have a few more bars. This is definitely fruity and fun, but it's really light, really, really light. So I have higher hopes for Kiss the Girl. <clears throat> I also got through one of my bars of sugar, which was a bring back my bar. And this smells like Aqualina's pink sugar, which is a perfume. This is cotton candy meets a perfume. Really sweet, pretty fun. That's sugar. I also got through a bar of coral waters and this one is, it's fruity yet floral. The floral notes in this are a little bit on the powdery side, so I don't love it, but it is nice. So, coral waters. I also got through a bar of Johnny Appleseed. And this is just a straight up apple scent. Just apple, there's no spice to this, which I like. This is the perfect like spring and summer apple scent because there's no spice. So, if you love apple scents all year round, you gotta give this one a try, it is fabulous. Oop. Also, red pear and pomegranate. This was a previous uh, scent of the month, and I was just feeling like something a little pomegranate-y. <laughs> so this one totally checked those boxes. So this is really, really nice. Love that one. And then last but not least, I got through one of my bars of Simply Vanilla. This is my absolute favorite scent of all time. I know that may sound silly because it's just Simply Vanilla, right? It's just vanilla. There's nothing just about this. There's nothing super basic about this if you love vanilla. This is more of a floral vanilla and that's all it is. Like it's not bakery. Like you don't smell this and think this smells like a cookie or this smells like a frosting or it's just like a vanilla bean that you get that kind of almost like floral note. It's just, it's, it's perfection. It's perfection. I love it. So simply vanilla and that rounds out what I have gotten through over the last week. So I will do my best to try to remember to save my or set aside my oils that I'm getting through um, going forward into the next week so I can share with you. I am still diffusing um, and things like that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you have been getting through. What are you warming today? What are you warming right now? Are you doing any mixing? What's your favorite mix right now? What's your favorite scent right now? I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you're new, please subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified when um, new and upcoming things are happening with Sensi. Thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.